Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, I showed you how to use focus stacking extensions to make any part of your photo in focus by stacking up your photo. If you haven't checked it out, you can click on the link here. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at another tool or extensions that you can use to make any object in your photo in focus, the Super Sharp AI. The difference between these two extensions is that you don't have to stack up your photo if you are using Super Sharp AI. The Super Sharp AI will refine the blur on an object and stabilizes the whole photo. So let me just show you how this tool works. Okay, so without any further ado, let's jump into Lumina Neo and get started. Okay, first to install the extensions as usual, click on this extensions button on the top right right here and click on install. After that, you can close down this window and I've prepared some photos that I'll use as an example. So I'll use this one. After that, go to edit tab and you will see the super sub AI on the right side in extensions tab right here below noiseless AI. Just click on it to open it up and right here you will see two options that you can choose the universal and the motion blur. Actually there's still one more the defocus but it's still in development and it will be available very soon so for now we only have two options right here. And then below here we have three different level from low middle to high okay so right now as you can see right here the object this child is a little bit blur right here so I will try to make it in focus again and I want the super sub AI on the effect this child so I will go to masking first and use mask AI to select the object Okay, and I will select the human and let's see how it does. Well, it does a pretty good job at selecting the object. So after that, let's go to adjustments and I will choose universal because this is not motion blur. Okay, and for now, for this one, let's try low first and see how it does. Okay, this might take a while, so I will skip this part. Okay, let's see the before after. Well, it does make it a little bit in focus, but it's still blur. So let's try middle. Okay, so this process might take a while, so I'll skip this part again. Okay, as you can see, this is before and after I apply the middle, now it's in focus. So let me just zoom in. Yeah, it's better right now and it looks natural as well. As you can see. Okay, and let's try high and see how it does. Okay, so let me show you another example. Okay, I'll use this photo as the next example. And as you can see right here, it's a little bit blur so let me select this flower first okay this time i'll use brush and select this area okay it will do and then i'll go to adjustments again and this one i'll also use universal and for this blur i think middle is enough so let's try it well let's see the before and after okay it does a pretty good job and it makes it looks natural as well uh, but it's not a hundred percent make this flower in focus it's still a little bit blur right here okay maybe i should apply high but it does a pretty good job and it also looks natural okay next let's try the motion blur option okay so i'll use this photo as an example it's a perfect example the transportation is moving and it's a little bit blur right here so let's apply the motion blur option and let's select the transportation okay it also select this motorcycle but that's fine so i'll select motion blur and apply middle and let's see how it does let's see the people and after okay i would say that it's pretty good as you can see let me zoom in a little bit. Well, it does a pretty good job like before and it also looks natural. 
okay and as you can see this super sharp ai is pretty powerful but there are also some limits to this tool like this one you cannot make an object that is already blur into in focus so even though i apply the high level it won't make this flower in focus again because it's the whole object is already blur okay so there are still some limits that you should know okay as you can see it's still blur even though i apply the high level okay and another drawbacks that you should know is that this super sub ai is really slow right now i think it takes around one to two minutes to use this tool okay so you need to be patient to use this tool because it's still super slow right now but i'm sure that luminania will fix and make it works faster in the future okay and okay so this is the power of super sub ai and if you are interested to get luminar neo extensions you can click on the link in the description to get a discount and to support this channel okay and for the presets giveaway only one person comment on the previous video so i will give it this preset to him okay so if you are watching this video you can comment down below your social media name and i will send the link to download the presets okay and this will be my last video in 2022 so i wish you guys a merry christmas and happy new year and okay so that's it for this video i hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video hit the like button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video